Now, meanwhile, back in our area, the legislature in New Jersey is looking to strengthen some of the statutes concerning workplace sexual assault, workplace harassment, and they're changing some of the rules. Here's what one member of the assembly had to say on the floor, a very emotional moment for her talking about her past as a victim. But I'm going to say me too. So for everybody else who might have had a Me Too moment in their life, I hope you stand with me because I need somebody beside me, okay, at this challenging time, at this vulnerable time, to be able to have this moment, to be able to say it has happened. Okay, let's bring in our A-plus panel for tonight's show. We are joined by pop culture expert Lisa Durden. Good to see you, Lisa. Of course. And former prosecutor and now defense attorney Bob Bianchi. Bob, I want to start with you. There's a level of, of empathy that you have when someone stands up and they talk about being a victim. I think the challenge is that you've got legislation attached to victimhood. And my question is, could that potentially go down a dangerous road and open up a wider net that, you know, you've got hundreds of lawsuits out there of, of men who have been falsely accused. This change seems to me just to be making it consistent with a case from, I believe, 1992 right. in, in order for it to be clear. But I don't think that it's going to increase false accusations. The only issue is going to be whether or not they can be fully investigated and vetted. I think the Me Too movement and the victims pushing these bills are all great. What I just hope, even as a prosecutor, doesn't get lost in the mix is we do have due process rights that we need to make sure and constitutional protections that are protecting the people who are accused. But what about the workplace? Let's get back to the workplace for a minute. So, you know, you, you've widened this net. I mean, you've got people getting caught up with HR issues, uh, telling an off-color joke, you know, doing things inadvertently. I mean, this the complaint level from everything we've heard, and again, anecdotally, uh, has has risen dramatically. The, the workplace is not for off-color jokes. Go to work and work. Off-color jokes are for your friends and family. There's not a time to mesh those together because the danger now is you're facing the Me Too movement. Bottom line is don't be a coward. If you see something, you say something and you follow the rules. Right, and if you're a victim, right, you should you. come forward. All right, gotta leave it there. Thanks, guys.